your friend Vitamar from Go Zone Gaming Live. And this is day three of the vlog that we're doing. And if you like what we're doing here, if you like what, I, what you're hearing and what you're seeing, uh, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, uh, like and comment. You know, always ask me any questions. I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Uh, you guys are awesome. You are why I do this stuff. So anyway, yesterday we were talking about the do's and don'ts of broadcasting and it was a little introductory uh, in which I was saying that I was going to give people pointers on how to get more or how to gain more viewers on Twitch. So today we're going to start off with the don'ts on Twitch because it's always easy and people can say what to do and what to do but here are the things you should not do when you are trying to gain viewers, followers and subscribers on Twitch. First and foremost is the biggest taboo of all time. Do not post your own link in someone else's chat. It is annoying. The casters hate it. The mods hate it. The viewers hate it. Everyone hates it. You don't get follows. You don't get anything from that. As a matter of fact, if people in, <coughs> that are in that chat see it and are usually going to your channel, most likely they're going to unfollow you. That being said, there's a lot of other things that annoy the heck out of people that you should try to avoid. First and foremost, don't talk negative about other broadcasters. Now, I know other broadcasters sometimes can do things that get you all pissed and mad. You might not agree with what they say or what they do. They might do things that are completely against who you are and what the community is, but just let it go. Let bygones be bygones. If you don't want to work with someone, don't work with someone, but don't end up alienating them disrespecting or getting crazy because the people feel that's cringy and the people see that you're kind of a douchebag if you do that because you're in the, you are in the public light and it looks like you're trying to destroy somebody or you're trying to blacklist them and people hate elitists so at the end of the day being an elitist jerk is not going to work it might work in World of Warcraft but it will work as a Twitch broadcaster now personally you can go out and say hey listen I'm not working with you anymore talk to that person directly and when the audience asks you hey like listen you know he's cool as heck but you know uh, he, he does his thing I do my thing you know we, we have nothing to do with each other uh, but I respect him what he does and you know uh, hope, hope him, wish him all the best luck you want to make sure you don't burn your bridges with the viewers not the broadcaster but the viewers because if you look like a person that's open hearted and open and sincere the people gravitate toward that but if you look like a douchebag if you look like someone who's trying to be uh, the, the center of attention always you're going to suffer the consequences because you're going to get a reduction in viewership Another thing that's really annoying that people hate is um, you saying you wish you were somebody or you saying if you were that person, what you would do differently. Don't do that. Don't compare yourself to other broadcasters. Be you. Be 100% who you are. The moment you start comparing yourself to other broadcasters, you become this cookie cutter, carbon copy type thing. And people hate it. People want something original, something they can always go back to, something that they know is going to be awesome every time they go back. But if you want to be like, I, I'm going to use his name. I love the guy. I respect him. I'd love to work with him one day. But if you want to be like Tali, don't do Tali things. Like, don't, don't say like this and that. Don't walk around with a hammer. Don't, you know, don't 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 be that guy that pretends to be that guy be original be you the moment you start copying emulating other people the moment your appearance the moment your stream the moment your content literally looks like somebody else you're gonna lose viewership this isn't YouTube. See, in YouTube, everybody likes to recycle the same thing. They use it. They polish it a different way and then hash that out to you and make it look like it's a brand new content. Not on Twitch. You can't do that because people are there live. It's live reactions, a live conversation. And the moment you start acting, sounding, and appearing like another broadcaster, they're going to call you on that. And you don't need that in your stream because it takes it and derails the content that you're producing live in front of the people. So be you. Don't emulate. Appreciate, but never emulate. And last and not least, uh, what you should never ever do, ever ever do, is promise things you can't keep. A lot of people get into this trap of giveaways and, and all the stuff that they want to do to gain more traction on their broadcast. Giveaways are great. I love giveaways, especially, you know, I do a giveaway every month. Uh, Steel Series sponsors a giveaway every month on my channel, and, you know, that's great. But there are some people that give way more than they should, that they can afford, and they hurt themselves, and then go ask, go crazy asking for donations, and ask, start begging for money, and start doing this, and start doing that. You don't want to look like a peddler. You don't want to look like a like you know somebody who's begging for money. People do not like it. People don't gravitate to channels where people are begging or asking for pity. Be you. Be real. 
have those options available for people to donate if they want, but don't start begging all the time for donations. I know the, the, the possibility of gaining views is huge with giveaways, but they're just not worth it if you're going to look like a beggar and look like people are supporting your channel because of your pity. Don't do that. If you're going to do a giveaway, know your means and make sure you do it responsibly, but don't beg to the community because that's really not giving back to the community. That's giving back to you. Well, guys, those are my few don'ts. Of course, if you want to hear more don'ts on how not to gain viewers on Twitch and how to hurt your chances of gaining a respectable community on Twitch, do me a favor, leave some messages, uh, leave a comment. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because those are huge here on YouTube. You know, that's, that's new for me here. Uh, but don't forget to do that. And uh, tomorrow, I can't wait. Tomorrow's Friday. It's the last vlog of the week. And maybe we'll get some cool things to say tomorrow. So, from all of us to all of you guys, have a fantastic Thursday. Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Deuces.